we have just moved over to the Illinois delegation breakfast at a hotel near the Milwaukee airport. And boy, are we glad we did because we just saw a giant block of cheese carved in Donald Trump's likeness with Illinois in the background. It is a sight to behold. I didn't have time to get it on TV for you. It's up on my social media. It is a sight indeed. Meanwhile, the message of the Republican convention last night, unity. I'll start by making one thing perfectly clear. Donald Trump has my strong endorsement, period. Former rivals to Republican nominee Donald Trump were the stars of the evening. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley and current Florida Governor Ron DeSantis were given primetime roles to make the case for the man they were recently engaged in a heated and sometimes bitter rivalry with. Donald Trump has been demonized, he's been sued, he's been prosecuted, and he nearly lost his life. We cannot let him down, and we cannot let America down. We should acknowledge that there are some Americans who don't agree with Donald Trump 100% of the time. I happen to know some of them. And I want to speak to them tonight. Earlier on the convention floor, some cracks in the unity message as Illinois RNC National Committee Chairman Richard Porter was face to face with Florida Congressman Matt Gates after Gates was seen heckling former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy. Porter taking exception to Gates' antics. If you took that stage, you would get booed off of it. A familiar face from Chicago also playing a key role in the second night of the convention. If you wanted to end on a boring note tonight, with no emotion on a benediction or a powerless benediction, then you probably shouldn't have invited a black pastor from the south side of Chicago. Pastor Corey Brooks, known as the rooftop pastor for his fundraising efforts, campaigning on the top of a south side roof to get money for a community center, offering up a prayer at the end of the evening. Too many of us have forgotten how to be Americans. I see this on the south side of Chicago where I'm from. But I refuse to give up. Why? Because I still see the yearning fire within us to be better Americans. Brooks telling us he was honored to have the time to spread word about his ministry. We're concerned about the same thing that most Americans are concerned about. We're concerned about education. We're concerned about the economic situation. We're concerned about immigration. We're concerned about being overtaxed. I just talked to that uh, National Republican committeeman from Illinois who got into the verbal tussle with Congressman Matt Gates and lobbed a few choice swear words at him after telling him to shut up. Richard Porter said he doesn't regret it. He said Congressman Gates does not represent the best of the Republican Party. Robin and Larry. Ben, we found that photo of the block of cheese that you posted on wow. Twitter. That is magnificent. Oh I, I did not undersell it. You know, I've seen good stuff at the Mars Cheese Castle, but I'm glad I came to the convention to see the cheesy Trump. Wow. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome.